Today I want to share with you guys how I am never ever buying store-bought meat ever again. Didn't realize how bad it was until this 4th of July holiday we just went through. Now since leaving the Amish I have always had a goal of making sure that I process my own meat if, if at all possible. Sometimes I haven't been able to when I first left the Amish but now I'm in a position where I have been buying my meats off of the uh, local farmers. No uh, antibiotics, no hormones, no chemicals, no preservatives. I've always butchered my own deer, my own cows, my own hogs, and they've never been through a meat processing plant. And uh, this past 4th of July, I decided, well, I'm, I want to keep all my meat that I have that is healthy and, and keep it for the family. I don't want to dig into that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to Walmart. Never again. So I buy one of those boxes full of hamburger patties, 32 of them, and it says 100% pure beef. I call BS. <laughs> I call straight up BS on that. 100% pure beef, okay? I fire up the pit boss and everything, and you know, I put my, my meats on there and everything, and we uh, had a lot of other food, you know, to go with it. But I remember when I first took, took a bite of my hamburger, which I'm a big eater, so I put two hamburgers on there and a slice of cheese and everything, some onions. I take a bite of this and I'm like, sure don't taste like beef to me. It's just heavily processed and whatever all. So that evening, I did not feel very good. Folks, I'm not gonna, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or, or you know, trying to say things or put information out that it ain't false. But why did I get so sick before bed that I threw up? I felt like trash all night, couldn't hardly sleep. Then yesterday, I ate some leftovers and put the rest of those patties on and ate a couple more of them. Same thing happened. I got a headache today. I barely slept. I feel like trash today. This is the worst my body has ever felt. Then I stumbled up on a couple videos and the Lord showed me that he is warning his people that the meat has been infected. I even saw a testimony of a man that literally just had a dream last night that the meat was being infected and that the waters were rising like a flood and there was meat that was being uh, contaminated and all of this. And then when somebody interpreted his dream, it was that the government, now I'm going to be censored, that the government was homegrown, uh, lab-grown, whatever you want to call it, I think they said lab-grown meat, lab processed meat and this morning when I listened to that guys my eyes were opened and I realized why I was sick ever since growing up Amish where we processed all of our own meat we grew our own cat you know we, we raised our own cattle raised our own pigs raised our own chickens and then butchered all of our own meat chicken beef hog pork and then we canned all of it Everything was in cans. All of our vegetables and all of our meat was canned. No possible chance of any, anything else being pumped. No preservatives, no, no hormones, nothing was pumped into this meat. And that's why the Amish average lifespan, I believe now, after that video I watched this morning, is 100. The Amish live close to 100 or, or over 100. No problem. Not just their physical body because they're physical hard workers, but because they're eating proper foods, healthy foods. It's not, the vegetables ain't being sprayed with chemicals either. And so this morning, I just wanted to hop on here and share with you guys, as of the last couple of years, I've been 100% doing the way I was raised Amish, and that is butchering my own meat. The local farmer, you know, raised his own cattle, and we get a cow every year, and me and my father-in-law, we're both on board with this. You know, we, we packed a freezer full. And if we're not canning like, like I did in the Amish, we at least put it in the freezer. In the Amish, we didn't need a freezer. We didn't need electricity. We, we canned everything. We never needed to keep anything cold at all because 
all of our meat and vegetables was in, in the basement, all canned. But now having a freezer, you know, and, and having those those conveniences and technology, we uh, we use that. But all of this meat recently we've been getting from the local farmers. And now to finally, after all of this fasting from worldly meat, <laughs> I try it again on 4th of July and I got really sick. Guys, this, this is not, if you hear people talking about this stuff, this is not a conspiracy theory. This is not false information. I literally got sick from this filthy lab garbage, whatever you want to call it. And, and, and they're, they're, they're killing people. And I'm not joking, guys. You need to take this stuff serious. Uh, if, if, if I didn't have the local farmer's meat, I'll be honest with you. I'm not eating no, no meat at all then. I'll be a vegan. I mean, it, this stuff that's coming from our stores is unsafe. It's not even fit to eat. Yeah, I'll probably get censured for this crap. But, dude, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm sick and tired of this stuff. You know, the Amish lifestyle. I, I can say all about how religion gets it wrong, how... how all of these different groups that are religious and power and control hungry and all that, I can I can expose them all day long, but when it comes to their lifestyle and how they live and what they eat, they got it together. They have the best cultural lifestyle as far as healthy living, living off the land without any government ties, government influence, because this stuff is getting dangerous. This stuff is, is really ticking me off. I feel a righteous anger this morning. I feel a righteous anger, like I want to flip their tables just like Jesus did when they were doing wrong and drive them out out of whips that are made from homemade cords and just like Jesus did, just drive them out and expose them. But you try to get them to expose this stuff on social media, a lot of them will shut you down, you know. So I'm not sure how this video will do, but guys, I'm going to tell you something. That was a personal experience over the holiday a couple days ago. And I can promise you, the little bit of meat that I have left from Walmart, it's getting thrown in the trash as soon as I get home. I feel like complete trash today. I haven't been this sick in a long time. I didn't even sleep last night. I feel like filthy garbage because I ate filthy garbage. <laughs> That's what it is. So I just wanted to get on here and share that with you guys. Be aware. If at any way possible, guys grow your own vegetables. I have a big garden right now. I'm getting ready to pull some tomatoes off probably tonight. This weekend I'm going to be pulling some cauliflower and some broccoli. I, I have so much in my garden. If you can build, you know, grow your own vegetables. If you, if you have room, if you're in the country or if you have a little barn, if you have any kind of room to have animals, get you a cow, get you a beef cow. Or if you really like pork more than beef, get you a pig. And, and, and learn how to, you know, and all of you animal activists out there, I've seen your messages. Yeah, don't even start your crap with vegan stuff either. <laughs> I was born and raised Amish, and I'm always going to eat meat. It's going to be the homegrown stuff. It's going to be what, what I know of what is in the meat. I don't, I'm no longer from here on out going to eat stuff I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I'm going to know what's in my food. If I seem a little frustrated or angry or pissed off, that's because I am. <laughs> it's because I am. And, and, and I say it the way it is. When it comes to religion, I say it the way it is. When it comes to the Word of God, when people get it wrong, I say it the way it is. And when it comes to this food nonsense and this lab-grown crap, I say it the way it is, too. Some people don't like it. But I'm an honest, truthful, upfront person that is bold and is going to say it the way it is. And it might offend some. But I'm not sorry. Y'all have a blessed day.